Oh, it's beautiful. It certainly is. Chris, have you died before? A little. Very little. But my curiosity is peaking. Good. Get your curiosity aft. I'll give you a tank. What is it? What you've been trying to tell you is the lady's not what she pretends to be. What are you talking about? Smiling. This is serious business, isn't it? Is it? What's down there? Come on, we'll have a look. people in the world you could have leaned on. Why this operation? Knowing what you know about me, the work we're doing, the people we're trying to help. Why? I guess I just didn't know soon enough. Oh, we'll get in trouble, look. Get a rifle. Looks like your friends are showing them the way. And I've got a gun at her back. Pull the anchor, Wes. We're dead in the water. I wonder how the major on you were here. There you go. One step, one step. Welcome aboard. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh. During the confusion of the cargo transfer from the burning freighter to the Lady Scotia, Mr. Hollister dumped the cases overboard right here. The boxes he dropped from the helicopter were duplicate cases. That was a nice piece of diversion with the very visible Miss Case, deliberately being seen with her and then having her rattle around Los Angeles. You're not seriously thinking of keeping those things. Why not? Well, because they're not yours, they're stolen. Have you reported it stolen to any authorities? No, no not exactly. And they're not stolen. What the devil do we do now? Hunt? Paul. Yes, my love. Well, since the merchandise isn't officially stolen, why don't you just give it back, take the million dollars, and walk away? If I don't? Then you and I have a big problem. And the last thing I want with you is a big problem. In case you hadn't noticed, I've grown very fond of you. You're all so damn good at your job. I suppose the safest thing would be to take the million and run. Just cost me. <laughs> <laughs> 